Today's reading from the New Testament comes from 2 Peter, chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. But false prophets also arose among the people, as false teachers will also be among you, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, denying even the master who brought them, bringing on themselves swift destruction. Many will follow their immoral ways, and as a result, the way of the truth will be maligned. In covetousness they will exploit you with deceptive words whose sentence now from of old doesn't linger and their destruction will not slumber. For if God didn't spare angels when they sinned but cast them down to Tartarus and committed them to pits of darkness to be reserved for judgment and didn't spare the ancient world but preserved Noah with seven others, a preacher of righteousness, when he brought a flood on the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them to destruction, having made them an example to those who would live ungodly, and delivered righteous Lot, who was very distressed by the lustful life of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them was tormented in his righteous soul from day to day with seeing and hearing lawless deeds. The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to keep the unrighteous under punishment for the day of judgment. But chiefly those who walk after the flesh in the lust of defilement and despise authority. Daring, self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignitaries. Whereas angels, though greater in might and power, don't bring a railing judgment against them before the Lord. But these as unreasoning creatures bore natural animals to be taken and destroyed, speaking evil in matters about which they are ignorant, will in their destroying surely be destroyed, receiving the wage of unrighteousness. People who count it pleasure to revel in the daytime, spots and defects, revelling in their deceit while they feast with you, having eyes full of adultery and who can't cease from sin, enticing unsettled souls, having a heart tainted in greed, children of cursing, forsaking the right way, they went astray, having followed the way of Balaam, the son of Baal, who loved the wages of wrongdoing. But he was rebuked for his own disobedience. A mute donkey spoke with a man's voice and stopped the madness of the prophets. <laughs>